I know you're wondering. What? It, what? This isn't Resident Evil 4. Why, yes, you are correct. This isn't Resident Evil 4. So why am I playing this game instead? Well, for one, it's shorter. And I can finish it a lot quicker. Also, it is a very awesome, underrated PS2 game. So I'm going to be playing this instead. I'm going to put in my name. I totally spelled my name wrong. That's how much I fail. Darn it. Because I wasn't really paying attention and looking at the screen. Mm -hmm. There. Okay. Yes. This is Indigo Prophecy. This is the people who made Heavy Rain. This is their first game. So let's start a new one. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. Hi, My Lucas. story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Ooh, I think I have to put the subtitles on. Oh well, I will fix that so. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. Ooh. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. So you're probably wondering, why is this game so awesome? Hmm. Like all awesome games, it starts off in a diner with the dude taking a leak, completely unaware of what will happen to him if he washes his hands. Not kidding. It does not take that long to wash your hands. How can you not see that? Look up, dude. If some guy was doing that behind me, you would see him. Look, he's looking straight ahead. Yeah. Oh, 
trees. Ugh. Again. Yeah. Yeah. And a little girl. Even what? though you're blind and slow, dude. What have I done? At least you die with clean hands. I, I didn't want. It was like a dream. <laughs> Ooh, there's a cop outside. Quick. I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. So here we have one of the three characters you control. And one of them is the guy who, of course, killed the man. So what do we do first when we kill someone in a local diner restroom? We hide the body. Of course. Quick, grab him and drag him in the stall. Put him in the stall. Yeah. All right, what else? Get the mop. Then we poorly mop up the blood. No, I did not say put it back. Hey, okay. yeah, poorly mop up the blood. Why did you stop mopping? Oh, my bad. Make sure to leave a trail right to the dead body. See, look at that. Next, we hide the knife, the shanking weapon. I've got to get rid of it. Which you killed Mr. Clean with. And after all that, we clean our hands because we are assholes. Oh yeah, now we're all ready to leave. But first, we gotta check ourselves out, because we are sexy. Oh yeah, all right, now we can go. I said go. Now let's go to our table. And eat our disgusting food. Um, nom, nom, nom. And then we pay the bill because we are so polite. Yeah, you pay that bill. Did you even pay it? Oh, you did. Okay. Now, we walk out, acting innocent as possible, so no one suspects that we just killed a man in the bathroom with a butter knife. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Oh yeah. Is it this way? Oh, I can't see. Cough. Yeah, we're gonna go down to the subway. So yeah, you, cause you, as you can tell, I did that very well. But my first time playing, actually, um, I didn't clean myself off. And I just left him on the floor, so when I left, I was covered in blood and the waitress screamed at me. And I was like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do? So I ran out of the emergency exit. It was pretty funny. I wish I reported that. Yeah, he found the body. Darn it, we're not very good at hiding. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. 
Someone got shaped in the you restroom. Stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Loading screen. Hmm, my goodness. You were getting cut out. Okay. Here we have the net our other two characters we play as. Dark's diamond. That's it. The fan service female and the cool chill black dude. Start killing each other in the middle of the night. Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm I on like night duty. Chill, it's as if cool every reactive. psycho in the city has it in for pretty me. cool. If you want a bitch, do it inside. Oh, she I don't said have to bitch. To death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Go ahead. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Dun dun dun. And onward we go inside. <laughs> 